for this project any category for yarn will work, but I used four skeins of Red Heart Super Saver stripes in newspaper stripes, and two skeins of Red Heart Super Saver in gray heather. As for tools, a 6 and a 7 millimeter hook, scissors, stitch markers, tape measure, and optional 18 millimeter buttons. There's a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. And watch the end of the video to learn how to enter this week's giveaway. We're using four stitches for this project and they will be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch. Single crochet. Half double crochet. And double crochet. This tutorial is for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size, and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this cardigan started, we are first going to grab our category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we're going to grab our 7mm hook and start off by making a chain that goes from our shoulder down to where we want the bottom of this cardigan to be, keeping in mind we are going to have a decent sized bottom border as well. So I'm going to start off by making a chain of 21 inches or 53 centimeters, or that comes out to 60 chains. And now that we have our chain, now we're going to go in with our first row. So block off that last chain, do a chain up of two that counts as a half double crochet, prepare for a half double crochet, and then go into that chain that we blocked off, or the third chain from our hook with a half double crochet. And then from here, just go all the way down, putting one half double crochet into every chain, and then I'll meet you guys back at the end of this row. And just as a FYI, I am using my secondary color instead of my primary color, as you guys can see in the background, just so that you can see these stitches just a little bit easier. But anyways, that's just for people that had any questions. Go ahead and keep doing this, and then I'll meet you guys back at the end of this row. And now that we've made our way down to the end of our half double crochet row, what we're going to do now is do a row of back loop slip stitches. So we're going to do a chain up of one and flip our work. From here, we're going to insert our hook into this first back loop. From here, we're going to yarn over and pull through everything on our hook. Let's do the next one, back loop. Yarn over, pull through everything, and go all the way down this row, putting one back loop slip stitch into every stitch that we have, and then I'll meet you guys back at the end of this row. So now that we are finished with our back loop slip stitch row, we're now going to go in with a back loop half double crochet row. So we're going to do a chain up of two, that counts as a half double crochet, and flip our work. From here, we're going to prepare for a half double, go into that first back loop with a half double crochet. So we're going to insert, pull through, Yarn over, pull through three. We're just going to keep doing this going all the way down. Once we make it to the end, we are going to do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then bring it back down with back loop slip stitches. And we are going to keep alternating between those two rows until we have a solid block that reaches about an inch away from the base of our neck to mid underarm. And I'll meet you guys back in the next clip to let you guys know how many rows and the measurement that I have as well. So I have just finished up going in with one of my front panels, and just to let you guys know, I came out with a total of 15 rows, or that's a total of 5 inches or 12 centimeters. And once when we have this done, we are going to have to make one more with exactly the same dimensions as the first one. And then once we have these two done, we can set this off to the side, and then we can get started on our back piece. Getting started on our back piece, we are first going to start off by grabbing our category 4 yarn, our same 7mm hook, and start off by making a chain that is the same chain mount that we did for the front panel. Once when we have our chain, we're going to go in with another row of half double crochets. So what we're going to do is block off that last chain, do a chain up of 2, this counts as a half double. We will prepare for a half double crochet and then insert our hook into that loop that we blocked off or the third chain from our hook. So we're going to insert our hook into that chain, yarn over, pull through that chain, yarn over, and pull through all three. And from here, we're just going to keep putting one half double crochet into every stitch that we have going all the way down the chain, just like how we did the front. And I am finally working with my primary color just because I wanted to see if you guys could see it too. <laughs> Go ahead and keep doing this and I'll meet you guys back at the end of this row. So now that we have made our way all the way down with our row of half double crochets, just like the front, we're now going to go into the row of back loop slip stitches. 
So once more, we are going to do a chain up of one, if we can, flip our work, and now we're going to go in with back loop slip stitches. So we are going to be inserting our hook into that first back loop, yarn over, and pull through everything that's on our hook. And then from here, go all the way down, putting one back loop slip stitch into every stitch that we have. Once we make our way down to the end, do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then go in with back loop half double crochets, putting one into every stitch. And we're just going to keep doing that, going all the way down, going back and forth, just like how we did with the front panel, until we have a back piece that is wide enough to fit from shoulder tip to shoulder tip. And I'll meet you guys back once we have that all finished up to let you guys know my measurements and what we're going to do next. So we are back and we have just finished up going in with the entirety of our back panel and I have a total of 43 rows or that came out to 17 inches or 43 centimeters. And what we're going to do from here is just go along both the tops and the bottoms with a row of single crochet. The top so that once when we connect the shoulders together it'll be a lot easier but we are going to go in with the bottom border now before we go in with the rest of the top so that it's much easier to connect everything. So what we're going to do is insert our hook into this corner. We're going to pull through, do a chain up of one to secure. And then once when we have this, we're gonna be going into every side half double crochet, alternating between one single crochet to two single crochet, and then going into each of these side slip stitch rows with one single crochet. So just to do that together, into this first side half double crochet that we have, we're gonna go in with one single crochet. And then into this next side slip stitch row, there's not going to be a real pretty loop for us to go into, so we're just going to have to figure that out and then put one single crochet into there. And next is our next side half double crochet, so we're going to go in with two single crochets into there. So there's one and two. Let's do the next set together. My next row is our side slip stitch, so find a loop on top. There's one single crochet. And then we are now at our third half double crochet, so we're going to go in with one single crochet and then into our next side slip stitch, we're gonna go atop with just one, and then into the next side half double, this is our fourth one, so we're gonna go in with two single crochets. And we're gonna keep doing this going all the way down. Once we make our way down to this other corner, we will do a chain up of one and cut, and then do the same single crochets that we're doing here along the bottom, and we're gonna do it for our front panels as well, along the top and the bottom for all of these pieces. So I'll meet you guys back once we have all of them done. So we've just finished up going in with our single crochet rows along both sides of our front panel and both sides of our back panel. And once we have this, the next thing we're going to do is go in with our bottom border. So the first thing we're going to do is switch out our hook to our 6mm hook. And we're going to grab one of our pieces, it doesn't quite matter which one. And then we're going to first go in with a row of single crochet along that bottom single crochet row we just did. So I will be switching out my color for my secondary color. We're going to take our 6mm hook and then insert it into this bottom corner that we have right here. We're going to place our yarn onto our hook and pull through. Once we have that, we're going to start off by doing a chain up of one. And then we're going to go all the way across, putting one single crochet into every stitch that we have. So let's just do the first one together. We're going to insert into that next loop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. And we're just going to keep doing that going all the way down. Once we meet each other back, I will let you guys know the amount of chains that I will make for my bottom border. So now that we've made our way all the way across with our single crochet with our secondary color, we're going to start off by making a chain the length that we want our bottom border to be. And I want mine to be just a smidge bit longer. So I'm going to start off by making a chain that comes out to 6 inches or 15 centimeters, or that's a total of 20 chains. Now that I have my chain, what we're going to do from here is block off that last chain and do a chain up of 3. That counts as a double crochet. Once we have that, we will prepare for a double crochet, and then into that chain that we blocked off, or the fourth chain from our hook, we're going to go in with a double. So go ahead and insert your hook, yarn over, pull through that loop, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Let's do this together just one more time. Prepare for a double, go into that next chain, insert, yarn over, pull through that loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. 
go ahead and keep doing this going all the way down and I'll meet you guys back at the end of this row so that we can slip stitch it into the base together. So we have just made our way down with our double crochet row and once when we get here what we're going to do is slip stitch it into the base. So we are going to flip our work if we need to and then we're going to count up one, two loops into the base and we're going to slip stitch it into there to close off this first double crochet row. Once we have that we're going to be slip stitching up the next two loops into the base so that we can work our way up to the next row. So here is one and then here is two. Once we have that we will be flipping our work and then we're going to go in with more rows of double crochets but these are now all going to be back loop double crochets. So we're going to prepare for a double crochet and we're going to insert our hook into that first back loop that we have right here. So insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Let's do just one more together. We're going to prepare for a double crochet, go into that back loop, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, and pull through two. We're going to keep doing this going all the way down once we don't have any more loops left. Do a chain up of three, flip our work, and then work your way back down with more back loop double crochets. Once we make our way down to the base, we're going to slip stitch it into the base the same way that we just did. And we're going to keep going back and forth like that until we don't have any more loops left. And then we're going to do a chain up of one and cut. And then once we have this done, we're going to do the same thing that we have here along the other front panel and along the back as well. So I'll meet you guys back once we have all three of these pieces all finished up. So we are back and we have just finished up going in with the bottom border along all three of our pieces that we have. And once we have this, the next thing we're going to do is connect the shoulders, connect the underarm portion, and then we can go in with our sleeve. But we're first going to start off with connecting the shoulders because that is the easiest thing to do. So connecting the two shoulder parts together, the first thing we're going to want to do is make sure that the ribbing that we did with our back loop slip stitches is sandwiched on top of each other and making sure that that's going to be for both of our front panels as well because we need everything to match. Once we have that, we're just going to place this corner right where our back corner is and then we're going to go in with a seam of single crochets, making sure we're going in through the front and the back panel at the same time. So how we're going to do that is I'm going to take my six millimeter hook, insert that into this corner loop, also insert that into this corner loop back here, insert our yarn onto our hook and pull through. Once we have that, we're going to do a chain up of one and then we're going to go in with a single crochet going all the way down until we don't have any more loops left into our front panel. So to do the first few together, we're first going to insert our hook into the first available loop we have into the front panel, also into the next available loop we have into the back panel, and then we're going to single crochet. Let's do just one more together into the next available loop we have into the front panel. Go ahead and insert your hook and also into the next available loop we have into the back panel and single crochet into there. And go ahead and keep doing this going all the way down until we run out of our front panel loops. Do a chain up of one and cut and then do the same thing that we just did here on the other side. So now that we have finished up going in with our shoulder seams, the next thing we're going to have to do is figure out where we want our armholes to be and figure out that length and then also the length that we want to have for our bottom slit. So counting from where our shoulder seam is, I have inserted my hook into the 24th loop or that is just about 9 inches or 23 centimeters from the top and when we're going in with our bottom stitch marker which is where our slit is going to be, I've inserted that into the fifth loop but only counting the body portion not the bottom border. And that comes out to a total of just one inch or five centimeters. And now that we have that all blocked off, now we can go in with our seam, which is actually exactly the same way that we did the shoulder seam. So we're just going to do this really quickly together. We're just going to insert our hook into the loop that we have that is right underneath our stitch marker where, where our underarm is. We're going to pull through and do a chain up of one. Once we have that, we will be inserting our hook into the next available loop into the front panel and also into the next available loop we have into the back panel. Once we have that, go ahead and just single crochet everything closed and go all the way down until we hit our stitch marker, putting one single crochet into every stitch, making sure we're going in through the front and the back panel at the same time. So now that we have gone in with our side seam along both sides, the next thing we're gonna do is go in with our sleeve length. 
So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that our work is flipped right side out, making sure that the ribbing is all facing the outside. So you're going to want to try this on and from this bottom corner that we have right here, we are going to measure out the length that we want our sleeve to be. So I have already measured mine out. So I want mine to be a total of 15 inches or 38 centimeters. So with my seven millimeter hook, I will be inserting my hook into the loop that we have right here that is right next to our seam. I'm going to insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through and start off by making a chain that is 40. So now that we have our chain, what we're going to do from here is first go into the row of half double crochets. So we're going to block off that last chain that we just did. And we're going to do a chain up of two that counts as a half double crochet. Once we have that, we will be preparing for a half double. And then we're going to insert our hook into that loop that we just blocked off with our finger or the third chain from our hook with a half double crochet and go ahead and put one half double crochet into every chain that we have making our way all the way down but leaving the last chain so that we can do our increase into there right before we connect it into the base so now that we've done our half double crochets going all the way down we have left our last chain and we're just going to be putting an increase of two half double crochets into that last loop so to start this off we're going to prepare for a half double go into that last chain with one half double and then we're going to be putting one more into that same last chain. So here is our second. And then once we have this, we are now going to be slip stitching it into the base. The only tip that I have for you guys is making sure that you guys are going into your sleeve clockwise because our ribbing isn't reversible. So we all need it to be facing the same direction. So what we're going to do from here, once we know that we're going the right direction, we're going to count up one, count up two loops. We're going to insert our hook into that second loop, yarn over, pull through everything and now this row is nice and attached and once we have this we are going to go in with another row of back loop slip stitches so we're going to slip stitch just up to the next available loop yarn over pull through we're going to flip our work and then just like how we went in for the body we're going to go in with back loop slip stitches so let's just do the first one together we're going to insert our hook into that first back loop insert yarn over and pull through everything and we're going to keep doing that going all the way down until we reach the end of this row. And then I'll meet you guys back once we hit the end of this row because we're going to go in with back loop half double crochets. So we've just made our way down to the end with our back loop slip stitch row. And once we get here, we're going to do a chain up of two. We're going to flip our work and then go in with back loop half double crochets just like how we did for the body. So we're going to prepare for a half double crochet. Insert our hook into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. We're going to keep doing this going all the way down until we have just one loop left. Then we're going to go in with an increase of two back loop half double crochets and we're going to connect it into the base the same way that we just did. We're going to keep doing that going all the way up our work until we hit our shoulder seam right here. Once we do that, then we're going to do basically the same thing, but just working our way down with decreases. So I'll meet you guys back once we make our way up to this point. So we've just made our way down with halfway of our sleeve and we have made it all the way up to our shoulder seam that we have right here. So once we hit that last loop, we're just going to do the next row that we have. And then once when we get to the two loops that we have right next to the base, we're going to go in with a decrease of two into our half double crochet row. So since I ended along the side, I'm going to start this off by doing a chain up of two, flip my work and then go down with back loop half double crochets, leaving the last two loops. And then I'll meet you guys back so that we can do our decreases together. So we're back and we've just made our way all the way down with our row of back loop half double crochets and we have left our last two loops right here so that we can go in with our decrease of two. So what we're going to do is insert our hook into that second to last loop. So we're going to yarn over, insert that into that back loop, yarn over, pull through. We should have three loops and then into that last back loop. We're going to go into there, yarn over, pull through. We should have four loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through all four. Once we have that, we are going to skip this middle seam that we have. We're going to count up one, two loops, slip stitch it into that loop. We're attaching it into the base the same way that we have been doing this entire time. And once we have that, we're going to slip stitch up the next loop into the base, flip our work, and then go down with back loop slip stitches. Once we get down to the end, we're going to do a chain up of two, flip our work, work our way back down with back loop half double crochets, remembering to do a decrease of two into the last two back loops that we have. And we're going to keep doing that going all the way around until we don't have any more loops left. Once we get that point, I'll meet you guys back so that we can seam it all up together. 
so we have just finished up going in with the back half of our sleeve where we did our decrease of two back loop half double crochets right next to the base and we don't have any more loops left so what we're going to do is just seam everything up together we're going to do the first few together but we just want to make sure that all of our seams are facing the same direction once when everything is facing the right direction we're just going to single crochet making sure we're going into the front and the back panel at the same time so just doing the first one together we're going to insert our hook into the first available loop into the front panel and then into the next available loop into the back panel and then we're going to single crochet and we're going to keep doing this going all the way down until we don't have any more loops left once we make our way down to the end we're going to do a chain up of one and cut and now that we've finished up going in with our seam along the bottom side of our sleeve the last thing we're going to do for this is just single crochet along the edge just to clean this up so all we're going to do is insert our hook into any one of these loops it doesn't matter which one i just like to insert my hook right where the seam is all I'm going to do is a chain up of one and then these single crochets are going to be exactly the same way that we did the shoulder portion so we're going to go in with alternating one single crochet to two single crochet into each side half double crochet and then in between there we have our slip stitch rows we're going to go in with just one single crochet into that so let's just do the first bit together into this first loop that I have I have a side half double crochet so I'm going to go in with one single crochet and then into this next side slip stitch row we're going to go in with a single crochet on top of that now we are at our second side half double crochet so we're going to go in with two single crochets into there once we have that we are at our next side slip stitch and we're going to put one single crochet into there and we're going to keep doing this going all the way around once we hit this chain up of one space we're going to slip stitch into there do a chain up of one and cut and then we're going to do the same sleeve that we did here along the other side so we just finished up going in with both of our sleeves and we did a single crochet row around the edge just to clean it up we did a chain of a one and cut and now we're ready to start going in with the front border so what i'm going to do from here is go in with my six millimeter hook and we're going to go in with a row of half double crochet from the bottom going all the way up around the neck portion and then down the other side so all that's going to be is inserting our hook into this bottom corner that we have right here we're going to insert our yarn onto our hook we're going to pull through and do a chain up of two that counts as a half double crochet once we have that we are going to prepare for a half double and we're just going to work our way all the way down with half double crochets until we hit right where the front panel meets the back panel because we're going to have to do a really quick decrease of two half double crochets so i'll meet you guys back at that corner all right so we have just made our way down with our half double crochets we did leave our last loop here so that we can do our decrease into this last loop that's in our front panel and then also into the first loop that's over here into our back panel so what we're going to do is prepare for a half double crochet go into that last stitch that we have into the front yarn over pull through that loop and then we are also going to reach over our seam right here into this first stitch that we have the first available stitch because this one has our seam into it insert our hook into there yarn over pull through we should have four loops on our hook and from here we're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops doing our decrease and then from here we're just going to go along the back piece that we have putting more half double crochets going all the way down once we hit the same corner on the other side we're going to do another decrease so we're going to go into the last loop that we have into the back panel and then also into the first loop that we have into the front panel do our decrease and then do our back loop half double crochets going all the way down and then I will meet you guys back so that we can get started on the rest. So we have just made our way all the way down with our half double crochets going all the way down for our front panel. And now we're going to start working on one side. This next part is going to be completely up to you guys. If you guys are adding buttons, this next chain that we're going to make is going to go from this corner out to just about the length that we have for our buttons. If you guys aren't, then you guys can make this as wide or as little as you guys want. But I have already measured out my button and so I'm going to have to make a chain from this corner out and that's going to come out to about an inch or three centimeters so I'm going to start off by making a chain of five. Now that we have our chain what we're going to do from here is block off that last chain, do a chain up of three that counts as a double crochet, we're going to prepare for a double crochet and then into that loop that we blocked off or the fourth loop from our hook. We're going to go in that was a half double we're going to go in with a double crochet let's do one more double crochet together we're going to prepare for a double go into that next loop yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two pull through two that is our double crochet go ahead and keep doing this all the way down our chain 
So we've just made our way down our itty bitty chain with our double crochets and now we're going to slip stitch it into the base. This is going to be pretty much the same way that we did the bottom border. So let's just do the first few together. Now that we have this, we're going to count up the next two available loops that we have into the base. We're going to slip stitch into that second loop to close off this first row. Once we have that, we're going to slip stitch up the next two loops, flip our work, and then we're going to go in with back loop double crochet. So let's just do the first bit together. We're going to prepare for double crochet, go into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We're going to keep doing this going all the way down. Once we reach the end, we're going to do a chain above three, flip our work, and then come back down with back loop double crochets. And we're just going to keep going back and forth all the way down like that until we reach this decrease of two half double crochets that we did into this previous row. So I'll meet you guys back once we get to this point. So we've just made it all the way up to the top with our front border. And what we're going to do from here is just single crochet into this back piece that we have right here, just like how we have seamed up everything else so far. So the only thing that I will advise you at this point is to make sure that our seams are all faced on the same side. So all I'm going to do is flip this portion around just to make sure that they're all on the same side. And then we can go in with our seam together. So now that our work is flipped around, making sure that all of our seams are facing the same side, what we're going to do here is count the same amount of loops that we did when we did our first chain out of three for this front border. And then into this back piece, we're going to count out the same amount of loops. Once we know where that loop is, we're going to take our working yarn, insert our hook in through that loop, yarn over, pull through. We just want to make sure that we have the same amount of loops from the front border to the back panel all at the same time. And then we can go in with our seam. So what we're going to do from here is insert our hook into the first available loop into the front panel and then into the next available loop into the back panel. And then we're going to single crochet. And we're just going to keep doing this going all the way down until we don't have any more loops left. Once we have that, I will meet you guys back so that we can get started on the other side and then insert our buttons. So just like how we started the other side of our front border, what we're going to do is insert our hook into this bottom corner and we're going to start off by making a chain that is the same chain length that we have along this side. Mine was a chain of five. And I'm just going to repeat everything that we did on the other side over here. And then I'll meet you guys back once we have this front panel all finished up. So we just finished up going in with our front border along the other side and now we are ready to go in with our buttons. So this is going to be all dependent on you guys, whether if you guys are even using buttons or how far apart you guys want them to be placed. That is completely up to you guys. I'm just going to let you guys know where I inserted mine. So counting from the bottom all the way up to where I have my first stitch marker right here, I have inserted them into the 15th, the 18th, and into the 21st row. And then from there, I'm just going to insert my buttons. There's not going to be any real rhyme or reason to this, so I'm just going to talk you guys through it. Since I am making this piece reversible, I do have my buttons along both sides. So all I'm going to do is take my working yarn. I'm going to weave it in through this button loop that I have right here. And now that my working yarn is through my button, what I'm going to do is insert it right into this middle post that I have in the row that I want it in. So I'm just going to take out my stitch marker. I'm going to take my tail end and just weave that through in between these two double crochets. And this next part is optional. If you guys are inserting a second button, then now is the time to do so. So go ahead and grab it and then weave it in through this hole that we have on this button. And then now that this button is through, we should have both of them attached. What I'm going to do is cut this working end and then I'm going to weave it through the other side of our double crochet. So just making sure that we're going in through the next loop that we have, I'm going to weave this through and then I'm going to tie these two tail ends together. And then from there, I'm going to weave in all of my ends and do that for every button that I want. So go ahead and do as many as you guys need. Then I'll meet you guys back once when all these ends are woven in. So this is what our work should be looking like now that we have woven in our button ends. And the last thing that we have to do is just weave in the rest of our ends. We've woven in our ends and this is our reversible cardigan all finished up. I love this cardigan. It's super cozy, but most importantly, it's versatile to whatever style I'm feeling for that day. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us what your first crochet project was. Good luck to everyone who enters. Also, if you like this piece, please give it a thumbs up because believe it or not, it really, 
really helps. And be sure to share us on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. Links down below. Link to our Etsy page is down there too if you want to buy this piece or any other piece on the channel. And be sure to favorite the shop so you don't miss out on new patterns and exclusive deals. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.